commands at all times. Have a good, clean fight. Go back to your corner, gentlemen. Seven, eight straight jabs, none of which reached the target. Southpaw versus conventional fighter confrontation, particularly if you got verbally implored Gaddy to come forward and fight with him. Slugfest and not let him box. He felt that would be more to his advantage. Seeing the target that way already, and there's a right hand to the body yes. that lands perfectly. Very much on a defensive fight. He's just keeping his hands very close, trying to cry to get close to Gaddy, force him into a slugfest. Left hook to the body, left hook to the body again. Fights in the southpaw stance when he turns his shoulder forward toward Arturo. Target, so he's just using probing jabs. That's all in occasionally loading up on a punch. He also broke his right hand in the last two of his three fights with Mick, which is conventional. Goes back to the southpaw stance again. Straight right hand lands for Arturo Gatti. With those punches he's thrown, Domgard hasn't been accurate except when going to the body. He threw fewer than half as many punches into the fight. Domgard had been averaging 80, punch around, 80 punches thrown per round. So obviously he fought the first round against Gatti far differently than has been his action profile in previous fights. With his left hook when he throws it. Why is that, Manny? There's a punch and he might catch it where the shoulder is. The head would be there by the time that the punch it. lands. Because every time you start a punch, the dumb guy starts dropping underneath the punches usually. Very seldom pulling back. Gaddy. Gaddy was focusing to the body. Now Gaddy fires a straight right hand upstairs and lands his own. Domgard starting to become much busier now. Another body shot. And as he becomes busier, he's going to leave himself open, possibly for a little short right hand right through the center. Gaddy still focusing on the body. Right hand to the body, left hand to the body. Now the right uppercut lands flush. Domgard is moving in, putting a lot of pressure on, but not landing any blows. And now Arturo with a perfect right hand lead. The kind of fight he's probably going to have to fight over and over in the welterweight division. And he's throwing his right hand the proper way when he fight a southpaw. Not low enough, just a little simple right hand. Which is well, but so far that's the best you can say about Dom Gard. Some time before he fired the left hook to the body that he wanted. Starting to unleash his own left hand more often. Trying to get in a power shot. Gaddy lands the left hook. And there's the left hook to the shoulder that Buddy McGurk talked about between rounds. A little bit more of an attack. Gaddy has more openings for he his jab. He has more things to punch and work off of now. Exactly, and he uses the jab to set up a right hand and then fires a barrage of left hooks and lands the left hook upstairs. Move his head a lot. Gaddy contents himself with another body shot and then laces Domgard with a series of rights and lefts as the bell sounds. Now Gaddy switches to the southpaw stance again. As switching southpaw against a southpaw to set up the punching angle. There's a perfect left hand by Gaddy, and Domgard counters perfectly with a right hand. Or the man who's been there his whole career. Domgard having fought his entire career at 147 pounds. Gaddy in only his fourth fight and at that, this moment. What, what Domgard did was perfect right there. He blocked Gaddy's punches, and just as Gaddy was pulling away, it's encouraged by something he's seen in the fight. Have a little room to punch. Not a lot, but yeah, he, he's a very good follow through. But Dom Guard shoots those little short, pesky type punches. Faster hands for Arturo Gatti. He's able to land combinations. Let him go. far more active in this round than he has been in preceding rounds. A little bit for a loop. Straight right hand, down the pipe, lands for Arturi, comes back with a left hook to the body, and a left hook upstairs. Gat is a tremendous puncher. Baumgart cuts the ring off well to stay close to Gatti, but he's just close enough to get hit. These are the little short punches right there that Dem God has been affected with and will probably be more effective as a They're missing, and Gaddy's wrapping him with combinations of being landed by a tour Gaddy. Three to nothing, 30-27, Gaddy. Gaddy backed up against the ropes with a series of right uppercuts. Hammers Dom Guard. Dom Guard comes back at Gaddy with a couple of lefts. Gaddy sits on the bottom rope and smiles as he moves away. I don't know I've ever seen five straight uppercuts before. There's a little left that lands for Domgard. Maybe Lennox Lewis did there somewhere along, did that somewhere along the way, and maybe against Evander Holyfield in their second fight, but I agree. <laughs> but 
they're also they're looking at the cheekbone area of Gaddy also. Left cheekbone. Left hook to the body from Gaddy, and now he comes back up with the uppercut. The great right uppercut. The right uppercut is making sweet music for our great, great combination for rhythm and makes him keep having a punch. He never stands back at a distance. He's put Arturo Gaddy twice shook the right hand, which is a potential indication that already he's having problems with the hand. Now he throws it again, continues to throw there. But in every previous instance when we've seen Gaddy break his hand during a fight, he shakes the right hand in the glove. Dom Guard is coming and coming, becoming more relentless. Yeah, but Dom Guard is putting a lot of pressure on with those little short distance punches where he's very effective with, even though he doesn't have that much power. Gaddy's still throwing the right hand. Hard to tell whether there's any less authority on it. Remember, he broke it in both the second and third fights against Mickey Ward and won them both anyway. Gaddy taking a real punish, battering here. The those short punches are being effective. The damn guy, he can still it. punch at those little six inch and 12 inch punches. Well, this guy is gonna test the conditioning of Gaddy by being so persistent. And now Gaddy backs him off with a right hand to end the round as we go to Arturo's corner between rounds, including 35 of 64 power shots. We'll watch to see if he continues to throw it, but go. remember, when he broke it against Ward, he continued to throw it. Once again, as you can see, Gaddy has had a little bit punching room, but Damgard is getting closer, and when they get in a certain distance, Damgard is landing shots, but Gaddy can't. But Gaddy can turn the entire fight around with one punch, as he's proven in the past. Is it possible that Damgard has the sense He's the bigger, stronger guy. His welterweight career is telling, and he's getting more confident with each passing moment. Yes, but I, I think the fight is going pretty much as he expected, though more so than Gaddy. But uh, right there, good example. Gaddy didn't land nothing while they met a chain. Dom has been tremendously active in the last couple rounds whenever he gets Gaddy against the ropes like this. He starts moving forward right away after. Every time Gaddy lands a good exchange, he moves right into Gaddy right away. There's a blow right into the cup by Domgard. Referee Lindsey Page did nothing about it. Gaddy with a huge right hand upstairs. Backs Domgard off. Uppercut again. Big left hook by Gaddy. Domgard lands a shot. They trade again at close range. And another huge left hook by Arturo Gaddy. And another one. Dan Guard has not been a news type of a dog. Arturo Gatti swollen slightly under both eyes. That's common for him. No bleeding so far. Dan Guard seems to be slowing down just a we can right now. They trade shots with reckless abandon. This is the kind of fight which has typified Arturo's entire career. Threatening to take a point away from Dom Guard for low blow. Damgard is very effective with those short distance punches because that's what he specializes in. But Which happened in Damgard's corner. Damgard, and that's dangerous with Gaddy. In round five, it's worth the price of admission in Boardwalk Hall. We've seen this four or five different times during the fight. Why do you think he's doing that, Emmanuel? It, it, simply because he probably feels that Damgard is not prepared to fight a southpaw. Hate to fight another southpaw. For well, the same reason that conventional fighters hate to fight South right? Right, because they're not used to it. Damn guy is used to fighting everyone in a right-handed position, and all of a sudden, if a guy starts fighting him in a southpaw position, it throws him off a lot. And, they, and you think he's finished, and he'll still be punching. I think it was a little right hand, but it, it just, he's so close that Gat is not expecting to get hit. He feels he's safe in those distances. up and Bolo punches Domgard in the stomach. Domgard relentless. Coming and coming and coming. Taking and taking and taking. Wide swinging left hook by Gaddy. Straight right hand by Gaddy, thrown full force. Domgard's got an excellent chin, at least good enough to take a Gaddy, sh uh, a Gaddy shot so far. Let him go. Body punches with both arms. Domgard banging away. Gaddy rolls with a couple punches upstairs. 
Harold Letterman had the Abbott score too. When you watched Manny Pacquiao beating Eric Morales, you were watching, oh, and there's blood on the forehead now of Tomas Damgard. Yeah, I think it's in the scalp. You were seeing a trainer, Freddie Roach, who's made a very positive impact on the sport and on a number of fighters over the course of the past two or three years. He trains Gaddy and, uh, of course, light heavyweight champion Antonio Tarver. And Gaddy and, and Buddy. Buddy, Buddy seem to have, I mean, of all of the fighters Buddy's worked with, even though he has a lot of them, seem like this is the one that he's really connected to. And the same goes for Freddie. It makes a fighter be able to perform much better. And when Buddy the Gaddy had with Mayweather, it was very impressive to me that he didn't want to see his fighter get hurt. But he said to Arturo Gatti, after stopping his fight with Mayweather, he said, Arturo, New Jersey State Athletic Commission Executive Director Larry Hazard would have. And he's known to do that. Straight left hand lands for Gatti. Gatti may be switching southpaw and throwing that straight left hand power punch because of whatever trouble he's having with the right hand. Now there's blood on Arturo's nose. Here you see where the two heads collide right there. And it could have been, the cut could have occurred just as well on Gatti as it did on Damn God. seeming to hold the right hand back and use it sparingly. There he throws it again. But frankly, when a fight has broken his right hand as many times as Arturo has. And maybe not enough. And Dom guard there for a moment, which is the kind of thing he did against Mayweather, and Mayweather knocked him down. Winds up in a conventional stance. Throws the right hand again anyway. Both fighters look a little uncertain this round as to exactly what they want to do. Well, the one thing that seemed to be pretty obvious to me that Gaddy doesn't have too much fear of them God's power. That's what throw that throw those up because they had to set him up and shoot it. There's the difference in punching power and now blood streaming from the mouth of Thomas Damgard. Gaddy may have hurt his right hand with Lennon and blow also. Gaddy switches to a southpaw stance and lands a left cross. Now he goes back into the conventional stance, throws an uppercut, and throws another right hand. This is Arturo Gaddy, as once again he appears to be fighting through the pain of perhaps a broken right hand. What I know, I know, I know was about, and the import of I know, I know, I know was be quiet. Yes, but still, Gaddy being the warrior, he still is going to throw that right hand. Absolutely. Look at those left hooks. Those are classic signature Arturo Gatti left hooks. Rafael, or Gabe Ruelas, I should say, at a moment when Ruelas was beating him. Like the one that starts Wilson Rodriguez when he was blind in both eyes. Gatti chancing a right hand to the rib cage. Sometimes that can do more damage than a punch to the head because you're there right on the elbow sometimes. And particularly you're the right thumb. That's how he broke the hand against Ward in one of the two fights. Punching power. Gaddy's punches yeah. tend to move Domgard. Domgard's Gatti. punches land on Arturo, but Arturo keeps on throwing. Uh, Domgard, their punches with strength and not quickness or snap right. power. But he's way behind in the fight. Does he have enough time to do it here? And it's pretty obvious to everybody that Gaddy has hurt his right hand. Jabbing with that right hand. Mouth now of Domgo. Yes, I believe he's bleeding from both the top of the head and the mouth. And those are two good straight yeah. left hand shots out of the southpaw stance. Now, we know Gaddy is now fighting the southpaw so he can get power with his left hand. Exactly right. Head. The punch, the fact that he can do it is tremendously helpful in a situation where clearly the right hand is hurt. He's got so much guts. It's unbelievable. Gaddy doing very little to try to get away from the punches of Thomas Domgard. Because by this point in the fight, he's determined he can take everything Domgard throws. Doesn't have a cut over his eyes, under his eyes, not bleeding from the nose. Uh -uh. Thomas Domgard can't punch. Eight to one. He is discouraged by the pain in his right hand. But that's discouragement about the rest of his career, not about this fight. He's going to fight through the fight and make it the best he can. Switching to the southpaw stance, still throwing the right hand as an uppercut. Look at the guts. Just in case Domgard thought his right hand was bothering him. I mean, you just don't <laughs> see it. Absolutely. I expect him to go southpaw. Oh, oh and he bends yeah. over, cringing in pain. Throwing the right to the body and, and hurt him with the right hand. Both hands go. 
the, the toughest guy in Europe. Or maybe Daddy doesn't hit very hard with the right hand when it's broken, and Domgard knows the left hand is the money punt. The greatest blood and guts warrior of his era, a guy who has been noted for winning fights while cut, for winning fights while swollen and blinded. Right here, you see Gaddy laying a tremendous. 11 of 12. Artur Gaddy's got to make it through five and a half more minutes with an apparently broken right hand. Dumbgard holds behind the head and hits Gaddy. One point. All the way around. One point. Who's about three rows away. Put up and yelled to Gaddy in the corner, and Gaddy looked and go. listened very carefully before going back to fight Dumbgard. Has anybody here taken an X-ray? <laughs> Extrapolate from this. Beside oh, him, the new welterweight champion. I think he would do very Let well if his right hand holds up. It's beginning to look yeah, grotesque. I, I think Gaddy, looking at his body, and everything, he looks very good at welterweight. You know, his body looks much more firm and stronger than even Damgard. Hey, look. It's very strong. He's beating up a guy who's 28 and 0, has spent his whole career at welterweight, won the European welterweight championship. This, this is a few seconds away from being stopped. If Gary lands one more good punch, we might see at the end of the fight. Let me repeat, 37 and 0 with 28 knockouts. That was the point I wanted to make. So he's, he's annihilating a guy at close range who had won all of his previous fights and came here expecting to beat Arturo Gatti. And now he staggers him with the right hand and Lindsay Page up the fight. And once again, the hero rises. To whom you must compare yeah. Arturo Gatti. This is fantastic. He's throwing power punches back and back. Knocked keeping, him out with the right his hand. Out his yes, and keeping a distance between him as he's punching. Knocked him out with what we think may be a broken right hand. Gaddy closed the show. According to CompuBox, he landed 29 of 48 power shots in this last round of the fight. Good stoppage. Good stoppage. Guy's face was broken up. What a right hand shot that was. The winner. Now a three-time world champion in three different divisions. The ultimate blood and guts warrior from Jersey City, New Jersey, Arturo Thunder.